What's up guys and welcome back to the Road to Nebula Challenge on Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Zombies. Before I get into this video I'd really appreciate if you guys could subscribe to my channel. I'm aiming for 7,000 subscribers before we get to the Nebula camo on this game. I know you guys can do it so please go ahead hit that subscribe button and without further ado let's get into it. So in today's video we are going to be focused on the GPR-91 which is another assault rifle. And I've covered other assault rifles recently, um, so if you want to check those videos out, I've left, left a couple of um, images on the screen here, and I've li I'll leave a couple of links um, in the description for those particular videos if you want to check out other videos in this series. Anyway, let's get on to the main event. So the GPR, hmm... It's not a bad weapon actually, um, I had much more fun actually using this weapon compared to my previous video, so that's something I suppose, I mean, most of the assault rifles on this game from what I've used so far feel the same, they don't feel much different to each other in terms of power, I'd say the AK-74 edges it a bit, but the GPR is definitely up there with um, that weapon as well in terms of power, I feel like getting headshots with this weapon was quite easy. Um, it did take a long time, just like it always does, because getting 2,000 critical eliminations is a big ask. But I do do it, and I'll show you how that is done. Unfortunately, however, Terminus was definitely not my map for this. I had a horrible first game, and I got myself trapped in between boxes when I was training. Got munched up by the zombies, and yeah, I wasn't too impressed with this one. I feel like at this stage I can get to a higher rounds. Um, I mean, the issue is with high rounds on Black Ops 6 is unless you've got a wonder weapon, it's hard to get past around 30s anyway. I'll explain that in a bit more detail later in this video, but I do okay, I suppose. I mean, I get um, 700 and odd headshots, so it's not too terrible, but you know what? Could have been better. This time round, I went on to Liberty Falls once again. I thought I'd skip ahead. There's no point in showing the early rounds anymore at this point. And I quit cryo freeze thinking I could complete the next challenge as well on top of the critical kills which is to kill 300 zombies using cryo freeze and then you have to kill zombies using um, a, 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 so basically you have to throw like a decoy for example and you have to get 100 kills while the zombies are distracted or like a smoke grenade or something like that. But there's a lot of issues with high rounds on this game, I was thinking stay in this game, keep with the high round and all that. But for starters the spider rounds last forever, um, they go on I'm not even joking, so many of them spawn the longer than normal rounds at this point, which shouldn't be the case. I just don't think these should be challenging rounds. I mean, they're just a quick little max ammo thing. It should be maybe 10 spiders max, job done. But they've just really overwatched it. It's not even difficult. It's just more annoying, if anything, when they just keep constantly spawning in. Another thing as well is when you get to the higher rounds on, like, Black Ops 6 Zombies, for example, your gun becomes completely useless past about around 30, and I'm not even joking. With the vermin stroke spiders, they're quite easy to kill because they've got low health. But when you're killing normal zombies and you've got manglers and abominations spawning in everywhere, it's causing me major, major issues. Unless you've got the ray gun or the jet gun on this map, for example, you're not going very far because there's no point. It just takes too long to get headshots. And what I ended up doing in the end, actually, I end up quitting this game. I end up fill in the next couple of rounds anyway because I was a bit like you know what there's no point in continuing I was really frustrated as well because I was literally 30 headshots away from getting the 2000 but as you can see here now this is mangler spawn there's two of them already I think there's end up ends up being four or five in this particular round as well it's a complete mess my gun ends up ends up being really really weak and yeah they need to really buff the guns or reduce the health of the zombies, whereas these whereas guns aren't going to be valuable pa past a certain round. It's ridiculous. So anyway, I was able to get the 2,000 critical kills within the first three rounds of this Terminus game, and then I was on to the last couple of challenges. So the first challenge was to get the um, kills while um, under the influence of the tactical grenade. So for example, if I throw a smoke grenade or a decoy, it's the zombies that get um, drawn towards that are affected by that particular grenade, and then I have to kill the zombies as quickly as I can. So um, I just train zombies around through the tactical grenades every now and then, and it seems to work pretty well i also did this alongside the cryo freeze kills because i need 300 of those then there was a final challenge as well in this match where i had to kill 
um, 10 zombies or more 15 times um, to get the gold camo afterwards. And to be honest, this wasn't too bad. I ended up completing it and I'll show you the gameplay of my um, gold completion right now. Then, only at round 20, managed to get the gold camo, no problem, Mystic Gold achieved. And yeah, that is kind of it for this weapon, there's not really much to say about this one. I think with a lot of these videos, some of them are going to be shorter than others, depending on the weapon. Um, I think with Assault Rifles, the meta is kind of the same, so it's not going to be too much in depth. But I need to update you guys with my progress, of course, hence why I'm going to upload every single day, if humanly possible. And then I end up exfilling and failing miserably as well. So yeah, it ended terribly, but I still got the gold camo and that's the most important thing. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys for the next weapon. Peace out.